sing this out. While shepherds kept their watching over silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Our shepherds feed and tremble And low above the earth Rang out the angels' chorus That hailed our Savior's birth Oh, go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and is born Down in a lowly manger our humble Christ was born and God sent our salvation that blessed Christmas morn oh, Christmas everybody, welcome to every person that is joining us here yes. for Arise Kids. We've got an amazing day ahead of us, Sala. Yes, but do. to start us off, I think we should do the one and only Christmas oh, cracker. Yes. Okay. Now I learned from last week uh -huh. that you're supposed to put your thumb on this little cardboard piece down here. Wait, I don't well, know if oh, you can I see didn't it. even know that. Yeah, wait, I've wait, been wait. just pulling it from wait. here. Oh! Yes. So are you ready, Salah? Wait, wait, I just need a... Need Three, a wait, two, wait. one! Wait. Yeah! Yes! I won <laughs> this! <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Oh, this smells quite funky, eh? Mm. Oh, you can have this hat. Oh. oh, look, you can have this Ew. snowman. What's that? A snowman. Is it a sticker or...? Oh, no, it's just... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here's, is here friend. is our joke. Uh, what do Santa's little helpers learn at school? What? The alphabet. Oh wow. <laughs> you seem like you enjoyed that joke. Well, I More didn't, but that is a okay because <laughs> we've got something else to enjoy for today. Sala, what have we got planned? Yes, we do have our Christmas carols. Ooh. Oh. Do you want to do some singing? Yeah, it's Christmas carols. Yeah. Huh? Um, <laughs> anyway, and then we also have a game called How Far Will It Fly? Wow. Wow. Oh, I see that. <laughs> yes, wow. and also we've got our memory verse as well. So ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So that's, I think that's all, really. That's all. Oh, actually, no. We've got a message from Nikki Lewis as well. That is right. We've got the one and only Nikki Lewis providing the word for today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really saw how far that mm -hmm. flew over just before, right? Eh? Yep. Like, wow. But other than that, let's head straight into the next segment for today. We'll catch you there. Well, welcome back, kids, to another round of <laughs> How Far Will It Fly? Yeah, today, yeah. we've got three contestants here today that will see 
which one of these items they believe will go the furthest. Up here on my left we have Salah, yep. on my right we have the one and only Sorodia, and of course we got Johnny Laws as our snowman today, and his yes. task is to go and try see how many he can try and collect nice. from the items that are thrown. But, on that note, let's play paper scissors rock to see who will start today's game. Okay. Okay. Salah, Sorodia, you guys okay. can go first. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, now listen against okay, me. All right, okay. you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, all cool. right, all right. Sally, you can choose your first item for today. Water balloon. Water balloon. Okay, you take your choice. You take your choice. So, what do you? Oh, sorry. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choose the cookies. So, Rodia, you can choose the candy canes, and yeah. let's get ready. You can for choose. It was your choice. <laughs> <or not. laughs> yeah. Let's get ready for the game. We now got Sala up here first with her <laughs> item, the water balloon. Okay. Do you reckon she'll throw it the furthest? I don't uh -huh. know. Uh. Let's find out in five, Wait, four, ah. three, two, one. Oh! Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Where did they get it from? <laughs> they went flying over that one. Flying over that, so that counts. <laughs> Where's my? Oh, there's my balloon right there, right there. It's but there's like some part there and then some part further down maybe. Well, Are you going to do the whole packet? Do the whole packet, eh? Kobe? Oh, oh. Oscar? Whole packet? <laughs> Look! <laughs> he does not believe in you. He does not believe in you at all. Uh, I think some will fly and yeah, some will just Yeah, I think some land. will fly. I've got so much faith that you won't hit me that I... <laughs> you know what? Hit me. I reckon this is going to be the turn of two. Are you guys ready? Four! Oh. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah. Five! Four! Three! Two! two one. One. Oh! I think he got one! I feel like he did, did he get, get one. one! I got it! Oh. <laughs> I got it! Alright, so what are you? On your mark! Three! Two! two one! one. Go. Oh. Oh. What? It went that far! Um, do it again, do it again, okay. go, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick. like a handful of it. Oh, do a handful, do a handful. You got this. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, you need it. Alright, just do it like that. Okay. Alright. You got it? I'm getting some. Get it? Get it. Alright, oh, that looks good, that looks good. Alright. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, two. Oh! oh you did you catch any? No! There was oh. one near him! It's very hard to see, they're coming very fast! Oh. Oh. Alright, All right, kids, now what you may see here is that, well, there's some failed attempts at trying to throw all these candy canes, all these cookies, and also a water balloon that burst from the very start. But, as we're having a look here on the ground, we can see that. An absolute catastrophe, is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Can you get the candy? I think the candy cane is here. The last piece of the candy cane oh. is here at the back. So right unfortunately, there. Sorodia, right there. she has come in last place. But okay. as we keep moving along, we see these cookie trolls over here, cookies over here, cookies, cookies. <gasps> That's close. That's close. That is That's so, so close. close. So the water balloon from Sulla's item right has yeah, made right it all there. the way out here. But the cookie is slightly oh. in front. So Salah? You can just remove it. <laughs> Salah, remove it. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> you have come in second place. So oh. I will announce oh. myself as the winner for today's round. Thank but, you guys. That's so unfair. But, uh, <laughs> wait, wait. I can't find it now, hold on. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Oh. I caught one. Oh. Oh. You caught oh. one. <laughs> but because Johnny has caught one, I unfortunately have lost this round. So Salah, what? you are now the winner. You really? Oh! <laughs> See that balloon right there? I won the game. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you're a bit too proud. It's considering you popped the over there. But yeah. Hey, hey. At least that you know counts. At least that, that counts. counts. That does count. I don't think those were the rules, but I'm gonna make it up here on the spot. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us here today, and we'll see you back next week. Kia ora tamariki. you know what time it is, it is time to learn our new memory verse. So if you haven't already, stand up to your feet, shake off those limbs, and let's get ready to learn it. Whatever is good and perfect 
is a gift coming down to us from God our Father who created all the lights in the heaven. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. You can read that in James chapter 1 verse 17. Woo, that was so awesome guys. That was quite fast as well. So to make sure we know it together, let's do it one more time. Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. You can read that in James chapter 1 verse 17. Awesome job everybody. Let's celebrate with a bit of freestyle. Yeah. To certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. Welcome to week two of our series Unwrapping Christmas. And I hope you're having a fun time getting ready for the Christmas season. But today I am so excited to be bringing the word all about Jesus, all about the true reason for the season. But before we get into it, let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you, God, that you are here and that you are moving and that you're gonna to speak to us through your word today. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody said, Amen. Now, I don't know about you, but have you ever experienced a moment that has changed your life forever? Maybe it was the birth of a new baby brother or sister. Maybe you moved cities or schools, or maybe you were waiting for something for so long and you finally got it and it was everything that you could have imagined. Now, when Jesus was born, it literally changed everything for everyone, everywhere. 
So much so that it literally split time in two, which is what we're gonna talk about today. But there was a man in the Bible that was waiting for the birth of Jesus for so long, and he knew that it was gonna change not only his life forever, but everyone's life forever. And his name was Simeon. The Holy Spirit told Simeon that he wouldn't die until he got to see the Messiah with his own eyes. One day, the Holy Spirit led him to the temple and that exact day, Jesus was brought to be presented to the Lord. And Simeon got to experience what he had been waiting for for so long and it changed his life forever. How about we read it together in Luke 2 verse 25. It says, At that time, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was righteous and devout and was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him and had revealed to him that he would not die until we had seen the Lord's Messiah. That day the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord, as the law required, Simeon was there. And he took the child in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, now you let your servant die in peace as you promised. I have seen your salvation, which you've prepared for all people. He is the light to reveal God to the nations, and he is the glory of your people, Israel. So to explain this a little bit more, I'm gonna welcome up my friends. You can give them a hand at home. Amazing. All right. So at the beginning of time in Genesis, Jesus was prophesied about, saying that one day he was gonna come and he was gonna save his people. And then all throughout the Bible, his people talked about him and were eagerly waiting for him to come. And this time period was called BC, which stands for Before Christ. Jesus was such a significant event when he was born that it literally split time in two. And now we live in this part of history, AD, which means the year of the Lord. Jesus being born was such a significant moment for this world that it literally changed time as we know it. And now living in this part of history, we look back to when Jesus was born and we celebrate and we thank him for what he did. But we also get to look forward because one day he is coming back. How cool is that? Come on, we can give a hand for all our volunteers. Thanks guys. At Christmas time, we get to have lots of fun. We get to hang out with friends and family. We get presents, how good is that? But the main thing we get to do is to celebrate and take time to remember the event that changed the whole world forever. Jesus Christ came into the world as a baby, lived a perfect life, and then dies on the cross for you and for me so that we could live in relationship with him. You know, we all have our own personal BC and AD moments. And the significant event for us personally is when we accept Jesus into our hearts. Now, if you haven't yet received the gift of Jesus in your life, then I would love to lead you in a prayer that invites, that does exactly that. He loves you so much. And he came into this earth as a baby and died on a cross just so he could have a relationship with you. So if that's you today and you wanna invite Jesus into your heart, then you can repeat this prayer after me. Say, dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving me and for giving your life for me. I'm sorry for the things that I've done wrong. Please forgive me and take the sin that blocks me from you. I believe in you. Be my Lord, be my best friend, now and forever, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, hey, congratulations to every single person who's just said yes to Jesus. It is the best decision that you could ever make. Well, today, that's all we've got time for, but we would love to see you back next week. We hope you have an incredible day. We'll see you later. Bye. 
Wow, what an amazing message from Nikki Lewis. <laughs> what are you doing? I can't fit. You're trying to fit the crowd. Anyways, what an amazing message from Nikki Lewis. Um, did you did you like the message? Oh, I love. Yeah, the message. Yeah, you love the message. I but love. I really if you have them. made that decision to follow Jesus, we have three easy steps that you can take. And what's number one, Israel? Well, number one, everybody, is tell someone. Make sure it's either your life group leader or your parent or somebody that you really trust so that they can help you on this journey of following God and building your relationship with Him. Yes, and number two is read your Bible. Read and I encourage Bible. you to dig into that word so that you know more about Jesus and how important He is in your life. Mm -hmm. And third of all is pray. Nice. Make sure you set aside time to talk with your Heavenly Father. God wants to talk with you and build a relationship. So why not give it a go? Yes. Well, that's all this sets for today. And that's all from us today as well. So, mm -hmm. well, I hope to see you next time, everyone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>